بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم مائی ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس السلام علیکم یو آر واچنگ میتھ ود یاسر الفات ٹو ڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس دی ڈیریویشن آف لا آف کوسائن دیٹ از سی اسکوائر ایکوس ٹو اے اسکوائر پلس بی اسکوائر مائنس ٹو اے بی کاس گیما ہیئر وی آر گوئنگ ٹو کنسیڈر اے ٹرائی اینگل اے بی سی سی ایٹ از ایٹ اوریجن بی آن ایکس ایکسس اینڈ سی اے از ان بٹوین x and y axis so here this is uh, a with alpha angle b with beta angle and c with gamma angle so here <coughs> a very important uh, derivation we are going to discuss here this is c at origin so this will be 0 0 this is b vertex opposite the side of the vertex a this is a this is c and this is b so a b c are the sides of the triangle of a b c so here this is a and this point it is on x axis so the coordinates of a will be a comma 0 because y component will be 0 on the x axis here so here this is a uh, x comma y we have to take out b cos alpha and b sin alpha uh, b cos gamma sorry b cos gamma b sin gamma because the reference angle is gamma and the terminal r is b so this will be b cos gamma b sin gamma so here for example this is a with the coordinates x comma y so what is x here x is r cos theta and y is r sin theta so here the r is the terminal r that is b and the cos theta we are going to consider this reference angle cos theta this is gamma so this will be cos gamma and this will be b is equals to sin gamma so this is the coordinates of b cos gamma and b sin gamma so here we have the coordinates of a and b we have to write down here this is a that is b cos gamma and b sin gamma and this is b the coordinates of a comma 0 so here the coordinates of a b cos gamma b sin gamma and the coordinates of b is a comma 0 so we have to take out the distance we have to use the distance formula between a and b so here what is the distance formula here so this is this is a b it is equals to x2 minus x1 to the whole square y2 minus y1 to the whole square this is the distance formula between two points here so here a b we have to use the distance formula between a and b here so this is x1 y1 x2 y2 so this is a minus b cos gamma to the whole square plus y2 minus y1 0 minus b sin gamma to the whole square so ab what is ab here ab it is equals to c so this is a minus b to the whole square that is a square minus 2ab cos gamma and plus b square that means b square cos square gamma just we have to apply the formula of a minus b to the whole square and here b square sin square gamma so just take out the a square minus 2ab cos gamma just take out b square common here so it will be cos square gamma plus sin square gamma we have to take out b square common here so this is cos square sin square this is equals to 1 so this is c is equals to a square minus 2ab cos gamma plus b square 
because sin square gamma plus cos square gamma is equals to 1 squaring both side squaring both side so this is c square equals to a square plus b square minus 2 a b cos gamma so this is the this is called law of cosine here this is called law of cosine so similarly 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 b square equals to a square plus c square minus 2 a c cos beta and a square it is equals to a b square plus c square minus 2 b c cos alpha so this is called law of cosine this is the basic law of cosine and a these are the three law of cosines here so this is c square equals to a square plus b square minus 2 a b cos gamma we have discussed a very important derivation here students if you like this video please share it and subscribe my channel math with yasir Fahad. thank you so much allah hafiz